Hello viewers, uh, in the last session uh, we defined uh, what a limit point is, we were discussing the topological properties of a complex plane, uh, we will continue with the discussion of limit points and isolated points. Okay. So, uh, uh, a limit point uh, recall from last time uh, is uh, such a point uh, that in the uh, deleted neighborhood of uh, that point or in a B prime A R, okay, uh, you find uh, at least one point from the set or uh, the intersection with the set uh, of that deleted neighborhood uh, is non empty. Okay. So, S intersection uh, B prime A R, if that is non empty uh, for every R, that is the point, okay, for every R, then we say A is a limit point. Okay. So, this is uh, I mean uh, very similar to what I have defined uh, before okay. and uh, <coughs> we also saw what an isolated point is. Uh, if a point belongs to the set and, uh, okay, uh, and if uh, there is a neighborhood of this point, there is a epsilon such that B A epsilon uh, okay, A belongs to S and B A epsilon intersection S is empty for some epsilon. Okay, or I should say B prime because A itself is in epsilon. Okay. So, you remove the point A and consider the ball of radius uh, epsilon around A okay, with the point A removed intersection S if that is empty for some epsilon positive, okay, then A is said to be an isolated point okay. and we saw some examples last time okay. and uh, we will uh, see one more example here. Okay. So, consider the set. Uh, S equals 1 by k plus i times 2 by k uh, such that k is uh, integer. Okay. So, this is our set. Okay. What we are going to show is that 0 is the only limit point of S. Okay. So, uh, please note in literature sometimes a limit point okay, in textbooks, uh, uh, some textbooks call limit point as cluster point. Okay. So, uh, so there is an uh, another name for this limit point. Okay. So, we will show that 0 is the only limit point uh, of S. <coughs> Okay. So, uh, notice uh, this example uh, is of a set okay, of the form um, you know x plus i times 2 x, where x is of the form 1 by k. Okay. So, uh, essentially all the points of this set fall on the line y equals 2 x in the complex plane. S actually is a subset of this line. I okay. will 1 comma 2 that point is on the line okay, and then um, minus 1 comma minus 2 is on the line okay, and uh, all other points fall between these two on the line. Okay, and 1 by k tends to 0. Okay. So, there is a clustering behavior or a limiting behavior at uh, 0, although the point 0 uh, in the complex plane itself is not in the set. Okay. Uh, so, firstly uh, you know we want to show that uh, 0 is a limit point. Okay. So, consider B prime 0 epsilon, okay, epsilon positive. Uh, so, by uh, Archimedean property, of real numbers, okay, uh, there exists a n, okay, there is an n such that Uh, 1 by 2 n is strictly less than 1 by n is less than epsilon. Okay. 1 by 2 n is of course, less than 1 by n, but there is an n such that 1 by n is less than epsilon. Okay. 
so 0 is indeed is a limit point of s ok. So, every uh, every neighborhood ok uh, of 0 ok has some other point in s uh, than 0 well 0 itself does not belong there, but there is some other point in there that is the point ok. So, then uh, also we will show that uh, any other z ok in the complex plane is actually not a limit point. Okay. So, the idea is simple if 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 you take any point off of this line okay, uh, then you can find a ball around that that point okay, uh, which uh, which will stay clear of the line. Okay. So, there is uh, no chance of intersecting uh, uh, with the set S okay, which lies completely which is a subset of the line. Okay. So, for points uh, lying outside uh, the idea is simple. Okay. So, for z belongs to z equals x plus i y uh, belongs to c um, and z not of the form x plus 2 i x uh, for some for some x belongs to r. Okay. These are essentially points which lie outside the line, they are not of the form x plus 2 y x okay. uh, and then what happens is uh, then the perpendicular okay, that is short form for perpendicular distance of uh, the point from the line. Okay, uh, say call that uh, epsilon one. Okay, epsilon z depending on z. Okay, epsilon subscript z. Okay, is positive. Is strictly positive because the point does not lie on the line. Okay, then um, b z epsilon z. Okay, uh, will will I mean will completely stay off of the line. So, in particular uh, off of the subset of the line uh, namely s here okay, that is empty. Okay. So, uh, z is not a limit point of s. Likewise, uh, if you take a point on the line, well if it is uh, away from the point 1 2 or minus 1 minus 2 or what I mean to say is if it is uh, off of this line segment between uh, 1 2 and minus 1 minus 2. Okay. Even if it lies on the line um, what we can do is uh, we can take the distance of that point uh, to the point 1 2 okay, and take a ball of that radius. Okay. So, that will stay clear of the set S. Okay. So, that is the idea. So, to make it concrete if z is of the form if z is equal to x plus uh, i to x belongs to c okay, x greater than 1 or x strictly less than minus 1 x belongs to r of course. Okay. Uh, then uh, what you can do is take epsilon z equals the modulus of x minus 1. Okay. So, what we are doing is we are uh, calculating the distance okay, or uh, okay. we are taking that we are taking this x plus i y projecting it onto uh, the x axis okay, and then we are taking 1 or minus 1. Okay. So, and we are taking the modulus of x minus that. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So, uh, actually this pertains to x greater than 1. For x less, less than minus 1, we can do something similar. We can take x plus 1 epsilon z uh, x plus 1. Okay. So, uh, if that is x greater than 1 or uh, x is less than minus 1, then take epsilon z is that or uh, epsilon z is modulus of x uh, plus 1 respectively. 
okay then what we can guarantee is that b z epsilon z uh, intersection s is empty because i mean if you take a ball of this radius okay ball of this radius okay that definitely is going to stay clear of uh, of the set okay so that intersection s uh, is empty okay so um, notice that uh, if you uh, i mean this ball does not contain points which are at distance epsilon z from z okay so uh, th that's the definition of ball the inequality there is strict so the modulus of it is all such points w i mean the the set is set of all points w such that modulus of w minus z is strictly less than epsilon z okay so we don't allow equality so in particular that point 1 1 uh, 2 or minus 1 minus 2 uh, do not lie uh, in bz epsilon z okay whatever the case is uh, they, they don't lie there okay and so the intersection with s is definitely empty okay so that's the idea so uh, any point on that line uh, with x greater than 1 or x less than minus 1 is also not a limit point okay so z is not a limit point there is a third case now what about points uh, okay what about uh, points in between okay so then if z is of the form x plus 2 ix first let me assume that z is of this form uh, and z does not belong to s okay in this case there are integers such that x strictly lies between 1 by k plus 1 and 1 by k okay pick uh, epsilon uh, z is equal to uh, minimum of modulus of x or absolute value of x minus 1 by k plus 1 uh, comma x minus 1 by k okay the picture is there is uh, x here okay and then uh, there is 1 by k plus 1 uh, by k plus 1 plus i times 2 by k plus 1 here okay so that's that point is 1 by uh, k plus 1 comma 2 by k plus 1 okay and then there is that point uh, 1 by k comma 2 by k here okay so you measure the distance to either of these points x lies uh, between 1 by k plus 1 and 1 by k okay and then you take the uh, minimum of these two so uh, b um, z epsilon z okay intersection s will be uh, empty okay and uh, b prime so b prime z epsilon z of course intersection s will also be empty okay now in the case that if z is equal to x plus 2 ix and minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 and z belongs to s then what you do is you take uh, epsilon take epsilon is equal to 1 by k plus 1 squared okay you could you could take 1 by k plus 1 uh, okay that also or 1 uh, yeah 1 by k plus 1 squared so it's the distance between 1 by k and 1 by k plus 1 okay so but i should say what is k uh, there is okay there is a k such that x is equal to 1 by k because x belongs to the set okay so then take epsilon is equal to epsilon z is equal to 1 by k plus 1 squared so b Uh, z epsilon z b prime z epsilon z now okay z of course belongs to the set so we need to delete that point itself that intersection s is uh, empty okay so in any case uh, any other z okay uh, any point z belongs to c minus 0 okay we have shown uh, is not a limit point okay so every such point has a neighborhood which stays clear uh, from uh, the set okay uh, and every point so what we have shown is that uh, z belongs to c minus 0 okay intersection s okay which is equal to s 
Okay, we have shown that uh, S is completely contained in C minus 0, 0 is not a point in, uh, in this thing. Okay. So, uh, uh, and every point in S is an isolated point and then next uh, we are going to uh, look at the notion of uh, closure of a set. Okay. So, recall that a closed set is something whose complement is open. Okay. So, uh, in the context a, a set is said to be closed in C in, in the complex plane, if its complement is an open set in the complex plane. Okay. So, uh, now we have a set which, which may or may not be uh, open okay. and then there are um, and may or may not be closed either okay. and then uh, uh, there are points which are limit points to this set. Okay, and which may or may not be contained in the set. Okay. So, when you add all the limit points of a set to the set, okay, so uh, we are going to show that that will become a closed set. Okay. Uh, to, that, uh, to that end, we make the following definition, the closure of a set. So, we are sort of closing the set with, with its limit points. Okay. So, we will uh, we'll, uh, these limit points are like holes uh, if they are not already present in the set. Okay. So, we will close the set uh, close those gaps or holes with the limit points. Okay. So, the closure of uh, the set okay, of a set S contained in C okay, uh, denoted by S bar. Okay, so, as far as the closure of S is the union of S and all the limit points of S. Okay, and the limit point set okay, and the set uh, I should say this as the set of all limit points of S. Okay. So, that is the closure. Okay. So, the first thing we want to know is uh, whether S bar by this definition is a closed set. We are calling it a closure, but we want to know whether it is uh, really a closed set. Okay. So, uh, I will um, prove a proposition which says that S bar is closed, but first uh, an example okay. uh, in at the end of uh, last session we solved the following exercise show that um, every point in C okay, is a limit point of uh, the set x plus i y such that x belongs to q and the rational numbers and y belongs to q. Okay. So, what that means is if, we, if I call this set S, okay, then what uh, this, this means is S closure now is the union of S with a set of all limit points. Well, this itself is C the set of all limit points is C. So, this is going to be C. Okay. So, the closure of a set uh, is all of C. Okay. Of this set is all of C. Okay. And um, in the example that we just saw, okay. so in the earlier example S was the set of all 1 by k plus i times 2 by k such that k belong to z. Okay. The closure of S is there is only one limit point to S namely 0 that we have shown. Okay. So, the limit uh, so S closure is going to be 1 by k plus i times 2 by k such that k belongs to z and union the point 0 that is S closure. Okay. All right. So, uh, those are some examples and we immediately want to show the following proposition that let S contained in 
C B a subset ok, um, S closure is a closed set in C. Recall uh, by closed set uh, we mean the complement is open ok. So, what we want to show is that uh, the complement of S closure is uh, open ok. So, let z belongs to the complement of S closure ok. So, um, so z cannot belong to S because S closure contains uh, S ok since S closure contains S ok. So, in particular z cannot belong to S ok. Also uh, z is not a limit point of S because limit points are also contained in S closure ok. So, which implies uh, there is a epsilon positive ok, there is an epsilon positive uh, such that P z epsilon intersection S is empty. So, uh, what we want to show is that uh, ok. So, we want to show that uh, B of z epsilon ok intersection S bar ok S closure itself is empty ok. We are able to conclude that z is not a limit point of S and uh, z does not belong to S. So, B z epsilon intersection S ok is empty that much we know because z is not a, a limit point there is some epsilon ok such that uh, that happens. Now, we want to show that B z epsilon intersection S closure itself is non empty uh, or is empty ok. So, in order to show that suppose it is non empty we will arrive at a contradiction ok. So, suppose uh, B z epsilon well we already know z is not in uh, S, S closure. So, suppose B prime z epsilon uh, intersection S closure ok is non empty ok. Then since we already know this then uh, there is a limit point there is and since S, cl S closure is the union of S and limit points there is a limit point of S ok in B prime z epsilon ok. So, um, here is the picture here is B z epsilon ok and suppose w is a limit point ok z here uh, and uh, w is a limit point of the set S ok. So, uh, say I do not call that w ok. Uh, now, modulus of w minus z is strictly less than epsilon because it is in the ball of radius epsilon ok uh, around z uh, and let 0 strictly less than delta strictly less than epsilon minus modulus of w minus z ok. So, here is a ray ok, ok or a radius line uh, passing through z and w ok and the distance between w and z is some number which is strictly less than epsilon ok. So, epsilon minus mod modulus of w minus z uh, is uh, is a strictly positive number. So, pick a number between uh, that strictly positive number and 0 ok. So, by properties of real numbers we can do that ok. Then um, B prime of w delta ok. So, essentially we are talking now delta is this remaining distance. So, that is your uh, B prime of w delta without w ok. So, this intersection S has to be non empty because uh, w is a limit point of S by assumption ok. Since uh, w is a limit point, limit point means that every neighborhood of that point every uh, deleted neighborhood of that point contains one other point from the set ok. So, this implies that B prime of uh, z epsilon ok uh, contains. So, this neighborhood contains this hash neighborhood contains a point from S which means B prime z epsilon intersection S uh, 
you know also contains that point which is a contradiction okay which is a contradiction to our assumption that that is non empty okay so uh, which is a contradiction okay so uh, b z epsilon intersection s closure has to be empty okay i am including z because of course z is picked from the complement of s closure okay so this implies uh, uh, this implies b z epsilon there is some epsilon such that uh, for every point z in the complement of s closure there is an corresponding epsilon such that this ball is contained in s closure complement which implies s closure complement is open in c which will imply that s closure is a closed set so that's the proof and uh, so the closure is indeed a closed set okay so now what we want to show uh, is the following equivalence okay so as just as a uh, further extension let s contained in c uh, then the following are equivalent okay so uh, first s is a closed set okay s is closed so the context is c so i will not say in c uh, so s is closed in c okay s contains all its limit points okay so and 3 uh, s closure is equal to s so these three are one and the same these three statements are one and the same so uh, what's the proof of this fact okay so what we will show is that uh, we'll show one implies two okay uh, implies three implies one okay so uh, then all three are equivalent okay so two implies three is simply by definition if s contains all its limit points then the union of s with its limit points has to equal s okay so is by definition of closure okay if s contains all its limit points s closure is s union limit points of s but if the latter is contained in s then the union is simply s okay so that's by definition and then uh, 3 implies 1 is by uh, previous proposition okay so s closure is a closed set okay s closure is a closed set okay and if s is equal to s closure s is a closed set so 3 implies 1 okay and so we have shown 2 implies 3 and 3 implies 1 okay we have shown both these okay and so uh, we have to show 1 implies 2 that if s is a closed set then it contains all its limit points okay so uh, suppose s is a closed set s is closed i'll say for short okay uh, then we'll show that uh, no limit point of s can be in s complement okay so uh, limit points will show limit points of s cannot be in s complement okay that is what we will show uh, which means every limit point uh, has to be in s okay so uh, suppose z belongs to s complement okay uh, has uh, okay is a limit point of s
Okay. Since, but we know something about S complement. Since S complement is open, okay, there is an epsilon positive such that for open sets we know that there is room around the points present in the set. Okay. So, so, since this is uh, open there is an epsilon positive such that uh, B z epsilon is sitting completely inside uh, S complement. Okay. What that means is uh, B z epsilon for that particular uh, epsilon positive intersection S if that is contained in S complement this intersection S has to be empty okay, which uh, contradicts. Uh, the definition of okay, uh, the assumption that so z cannot be a limit point, right? I mean, if that intersection S is empty for some epsilon, uh, that uh, that z cannot be a limit point of S. Okay, so it contradicts the assumption that uh, z is a limit point. So it has to be that. Uh, no limit point of S is in S complement. So, this implies uh, S contains all its limit points, which is 2. Okay, so, that is how uh, 1 implies 2 okay, and uh, these statements uh, are equivalent. So, that is a discussion about uh, closure of a uh, set. Okay. And then uh, we should also be uh, aware of uh, the following notion of interior and uh, boundary points. So, we have seen limit points and isolated points, okay. there is also uh, something called an interior point. Okay. So, firstly we know that not all sets are open, okay. for some points in the set there could be room and some points uh, there could be no, uh, no real room around the point. Okay. So, we want to identify those points uh, of a set okay, uh, and label them okay, uh, which have room around themselves. Okay. So, uh, that is an interior point, interior point. Okay. Uh, let S contained in C. So, this is a property about points of a set. Okay. So, a point Z belongs to S is called an interior point. of S if Z has room around itself i e if if there is an epsilon positive such that B Z epsilon is completely contained in S. Okay. If this condition is met for every point in the set then the set is open, okay. but that need not be the case, uh, but nevertheless a set could be not open and still have interior points. Okay. So, first example well an open set. Okay. So, every point of an open set is an interior point. Okay. Another example is so x plus i y in complex plane such that x y are both rational numbers. Okay. Then no point of S is an interior point. Okay. How do we know this? Well, if you take any epsilon ball around a point in S, okay, then there are bound to be points which have irrational coordinates in one or the other uh, component by component I mean uh, x and y the real and imaginary part. Okay. So, uh, in every neighborhood this is true for a point. Okay. So, in particular it is true for every neighborhood of uh, points in S. Okay. So, uh, they cannot be interior points the, they, that ball has holes. So, uh, holes in S. So, it cannot be an interior point. Okay. So, it is a vague proof of why uh, this is true. Okay. And then um, of course, there could be sets which have some interior points and some are not interior points. So, for example, if I take uh, the union of uh, the real line, okay, union uh, a ball of radius 
1 around 2 comma 2. Okay. So, it is B uh, 2 plus 2 i uh, 1 okay, union uh, the real line set of all x plus i 0 belongs to C, x belongs to R. Okay. So, uh, of course, all the points in this that is an open set that component that, that piece is an open set. So, all points here are going to be interior points and all points here are not going to be interior points. Okay. So, that is uh, an example where a set contains some interior points and some uh, which are not interior points. Okay. So, there are other uh, scenarios possible as well. Um, the viewer is uh, uh, asked to uh, construct examples uh, and see various scenarios where uh, uh, sets have some interior points and some which are not interior points. We are going to state a fact that every interior point okay, is a limit point. That is clear by the definition of interior point. If uh, if something is an interior point, okay, there is a B z epsilon okay, such that uh, this intersection S is non empty. Okay, well, something is an interior point, this ball is completely contained in S. Okay. So, if you take any epsilon less than this particular uh, uh, initial epsilon, okay, any delta less than epsilon, then that ball intersection deleted uh, ball, okay, so you delete that point, intersection S is going to be non empty. Okay. So, that point is a limit point. Okay. So, that is uh, that is why every interior point is a limit point. Now, there is a notion of boundary and boundary points. Okay. So, first I will define a boundary point. Uh, so, there are uh, there are interior points okay, and then uh, there are points uh, which we will call as boundary points by the following notion. Okay. So, roughly I will I'll give you the intuition. So, uh, suppose you consider uh, B 0 1, okay. you would want to call all the points on the unit circle in the complex plane as the boundary of this. Okay. So, B 0 1 is the point set of all z such that modulus of z is strictly less than 1. Okay. And so, you would want to call uh, set of all z such that modulus of z equal to 1 okay, as the boundary of this set, okay, boundary of B 0 1. Okay. There could be more complicated scenarios, well uh, you could take B 0 1 okay, and then maybe throw in some points with modulus 1. Okay. So, let us say you throw in all the points uh, z equals x plus i y such that uh, modulus of z is equal to 1 x comma y belong to q for example. Okay. So, you are throwing in some points not all points uh, with modulus 1 have uh, rational coordinates like that. Okay. So, you are throwing in some points into this, but despite throwing in some points into the set S, okay, you would still want to call set of all z such that mod z is equal to 1 as uh, is the boundary of S, B d y is short for boundary of S. Okay. So, uh, that is the intuition behind this boundary notion. So, you could have points which are contained in the set and as uh, you know would st would still be called as boundary points okay and you could have points which are completely not contained in the set and still you would want to call them boundary of the set okay and then uh, con the contrasting scenario to this example is where you take b01 bar and you would still want to call set of all z such that mod z is equal to 1 as the boundary okay b this contains all its boundary points for example Okay, this set. So, uh, a more general uh, definition is as follows let S contained in C, okay, definition let S contained in C, okay, a point Z belongs to C, 
uh, is called a boundary point. Notice z does not need to belong to S. Okay. So, a point z in the complex plane is called a boundary point of S. If B z epsilon intersection S is non empty and B z epsilon intersection uh, S complement is also non empty for every epsilon positive. Okay. So, every epsilon neighborhood said otherwise. Okay. So, every epsilon neighborhood of z contains points from the set and from outside the set. Okay. So, contains points from S and from S complement. Okay. So, this example tells you or this definition tells you that your old uh, familiar examples are true. Okay. So, if you take B 0 1 any point here any point on uh, the unit circle okay, uh, and if you take any neighborhood of that there are points outside uh, the unit disk and inside the unit disk. Okay. So, this uh, these examples okay, uh, will make uh, all those sets uh, m I mean all the points such that mod z is equal to 1 okay, as boundary points of those sets. Okay. So, that is uh, an example of this definition and another example is let us revisit our uh, set S equals set of all x plus i y such that x belongs to q and y belongs to q. Okay. What are the boundary points? We saw that no point of this set is an interior point okay. and every point uh, of this of the complex plane is actually a limit point of this set. Okay. So, it is a strange set and then uh, what is also true is uh, every point of the complex plane is actually a boundary point. Okay. So, every point of the complex plane okay, of C is a boundary point of C of S. That is because if you take any neighborhood of any complex number, it will contain points with rational coordinates and it will contain points uh, which do not have rational coordinates. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so, then every point in the complex plane is actually a boundary point of the set. Okay. So, that is another example. Okay. So, here is uh, yet another example. Let S equal set of all z such that 1 less than or equal to mod z less than 2. Okay. Then the boundary, so that is a curly bracket. Okay. So, then uh, what is the boundary of S? Then um, the boundary of S okay. So, I will uh, not as a part of this example, but more generally let me define the boundary of a set S. Okay. Usually, this refers to the set of all boundary points of S. Okay. I defined a boundary point, a, a boundary simply a boundary of the set is set of all boundary points of S. Okay. So, then um, uh, the boundary of this set S is uh, boundary of S. for this example uh, is the set uh, is equal to set of all z such that the modulus is either 1 or the modulus is 2. Okay. That you will identify is the annular region between uh, 1 and 2. Okay. So, you have that mod z is equal to 1, mod z is between 1 and 2, okay, but not equal to 2. Okay. So, it is set of all such points. So, the boundary is that. Okay. 
So, that is boundary notion of a boundary of a set. Okay. So, exercise to the viewer what is the boundary of the set? So, what is the boundary of the set, uh, set such that mod z is strictly less than 1 union set of all n plus i 0 such that n belongs to z, okay, calculate the boundary of this. Okay, it is the open unit disk union uh, the integers. Okay. So, uh, also further find the limit points, isolated points okay, uh, and interior points of S. Okay. So, <laughs> we have seen limit points, isolated points interior points, boundary points. Okay. There is also a notion of exterior points. Uh, these are points, which lie completely outside the set in the following uh, sense. Okay. Um, uh, a point z belongs to C okay, uh, is called uh, an exterior point to a set S contained in C, if there is an epsilon positive such that uh, B z epsilon intersection S is empty. Okay. So, there is a neighborhood, there is a ball around the point z, okay, which is completely off of the set S. In that event, you call uh, z as an exterior point of the set S. Okay. So, um, uh, here are some quick facts. Okay. Please uh, check all these facts, these are easy to uh, uh, you know check from the definitions, but uh, this is a summary uh, uh, I mean uh, this is a summary of all these uh, you know, limit points etcetera. Okay. So, one needs to internalize uh, these facts. Okay. So, every interior point is a limit point. Okay, so, this is the relation between limit points and interior points. Every lim interior point is a limit point, but every limit point, but every limit point need not be an interior point. In fact, uh, the limit point need not even belong to the set. So, it cannot be an interior point sometimes. Okay. So, that is uh, one. Okay. Second statement I want to make is that uh, the limit between isolated points and interior points. Okay. So, isolated points okay, are never interior points, that is because there is no neighborhood of those points contained in the set. Okay. And then uh, and interior points are never isolated interior points enjoy a whole ball around them which is contained in the set. So, they are not isolated. Okay. So, interior points are never isolated that is the relation between isolated and interior points. So, show this fact every boundary point uh, uh, of a set S is either an isolated point or a limit point okay, is an isolated point or a limit point. Okay. For example, if you take uh, the unit disk, okay, open unit disk union some point here, let us say 3, okay, then uh, 3 is a boundary point. The boundary of the set is going to be 3 union uh, set of all z such that uh, mod z is equal to 1. Okay. So, the boundary here is 3 and then the uh, unit circle. Okay. So, the boundary can have isolated points and then there are other points mod z is equal to 1 and every point mod z is equal to 1 is um, is a limit point of the set S. Okay. So, boundary points are either isolated points or interior point uh, so, uh, or sorry or uh, limit points. Okay. So, try to uh, show this fact more generally okay. uh, that is an exercise and uh, I also want to say that every limit point need not be a boundary point.
a boundary point y that is a question for the viewer okay. need not be a boundary point y think about it okay. and try to prove the ones which I have uh, not proved here and those are exercises for the viewer. Okay. Uh, I will stop.